lights, camera, action. What's up, Lingopath learners? Everybody likes movies, but what type of movie do you like? There are many different kinds of genres for film, action, drama, romance. Now, you know these words, so let's talk about some important slang movie terms. First, an important thing to know is that in North America, we say that we're going to a movie or going to the movies. Now, I don't know why we say the movies in plural. We're only going to one. But British English, they say they're going to the cinema. Now, you can say going to the cinema in Toronto or New York, but some might smile and think it sounds a little funny. We also call movies flicks, and I'm pretty sure this is because old movie projectors would flicker, which means the light flashes on and off, so flicker became flick. So catching a flick means going to the movies, and an A-list means a really big star. This would be a star that everybody knows. Hey, let's catch that new Jennifer Lawrence flick. She became A-list pretty quickly, didn't she? Other types of movies are the chick flick, and these are films that many women like. Usually it's two people very much in love, but one of them is dying or something like that. We also call them tear jerkers because they make you want to cry. And why someone would spend money to cry, men have never figured out. Another chick flick is the rom-com, short for romantic comedy. You know, boy meets girl, boy loses girl, boy gets girl back. Usually he's running to the church just in time to stop her wedding. Often he arrives on a motorcycle or even sometimes a horse. Then from the world of horror, there's the slasher. From the word slash, which means to cut, which is what our masked friend likes to do. So these movies are boy meets girl, boy chases girl with an axe. I finally got to see that new slasher film with my girlfriend. I told her it was a rom-com. More slang types for movies are the artsy film. And these are serious art movies where no one seems to smile. Then the road movie. And this is a story that follows characters moving from place to place, often in a car. Sci-fi, which is short for science fiction. And these stories often involve time travel or visiting other universes or little green men. And the buddy movie. And buddy means pal or friend. And lots of movies have two men as the lead characters. Sometimes they're police officers, and sometimes they're co-workers, and they spend a lot of time together. A lot. Which brings me to our last slang term. And this one is fairly new. It's the bromance. And it's a combination of bro, or brother, which is what guys call each other sometimes, and romance. Bromance. And it's a non-sexual friendship between two guys. You know, when guys are really tight. And when you learn English grammar and vocabulary really well, you can truly understand everything in English language movies. So why not learn more about Lingopath.com and become an A-list star of English? Now it's your time to act. Action!